Well, it certainly has been nice out there these past few days. Uh, nice mild temperatures out there. Sun feels good in your skin to get that nice strong late March sun. Even a little bit of green grass starting to poke through. However, it's Wyoming. It's early spring. You know this isn't going to last the whole time. As David Bowie said, there's going to be some chit 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 changes over the next few days. Start to take a look at those uh, temp difference in temperatures. This is between uh, today and Friday. You can tell it'll be a slap to the face. And also, whoa! Got to stop waxing the floor when I do these videos. Anyway, temperatures are going to be falling quite a bit, especially the further east you go across the area, as much as a 30 degree difference between highs today and as we head toward Friday. Now the impact of the storm coming in, most areas west of the divide will start with mainly dry today. A little bit of snow coming in far northwest Wednesday night. Main impacts Thursday into Thursday night, mountain snow. We'll start as rain in the valleys, but we'll change over to snow before ending as we head toward Friday night. Will be some accumulating snow, could be some advisories issue later today or tomorrow, but not the most snow we've seen, certainly not as much as we saw those big storms back in February. But we're more uncertain east of the divide. Not today, though. Looks like uh, mainly dry conditions uh, across much of the area through tonight. Thursday will be a little bit of showers coming in, especially across northern Wyoming. Could even be a rumble of thunder. Thursday night into Friday, we'll see areas of rain spreading across the area. We'll change over to snow as we head toward Friday. Now, give you a lot of uncertainty as to where this is going to fall. I'll show you that in just a minute. Also turning much cooler. One uh, thing with the snow falling. This could be a situation where you have a lot more in the grass than on the roads. It has been fairly warm ground temperatures have warmed up. And also, with that strong uh, sun angle we have now, it's basically as strong right now as it is in mid-September. So it could be a situation where the roads are wet, but there could be a few inches of snow on the grass. I'll show you a couple of models here. First, this is the NAM model I want to show you. And you can see uh, it's pretty dry across the area, just some scattered showers as we head all the way through Thursday night and also into the Friday time frame. Now I'll take a look at the European. A lot different again, mainly dry through much of Thursday. However, Thursday night and Friday, you can see a big slug of moisture coming across central portions of the state, including Riverton and Casper, and that falls the snow. There could be several inches of snow. So still a lot of uncertainty as to exactly what's going to happen. And it's also a situation where one or two degrees could make a difference between heavy rain, maybe a heavy wet snow. So our best guess for expected snowfall across the area, you see locally up to a foot across the mountains out to the west. Lower elevations, generally about two to three inches. East of the divide, highest accumulations around Casper, two, maybe four inches there. Generally about an inch or two across the Wind River Basin, higher amounts toward Lander, those favorite upslope areas. And across the Big Horns, about four to eight inches. But I want to caution you, this is very preliminary, and this could change as we head toward tomorrow. Here's our resources for weather, road conditions, and webcams by route. Have a great day, everybody.